I, I hate to break it to you, but it looks like it, it is kidney stones. Oh my god, kidney stones. Am I going to be okay? I'm going to come down. You're, you're in the right place, Ms. Coates. Don't you worry. We're going to take care of everything. Now, there's a lot of different treatment options for kidney stones, so I'm going to run through some of the basics with you. I mean, there is also uh, you know, the choice of sort of waiting to see if they pass on their own. Not the most pleasant option, but it is there. Um, we could also try some medical options to try and break the stones down. Um, we can even go in and uh, try some surgery. Surgery? What? I know surgery sounds scary, but based on your record, it may be the best option for you. Um, I really do need to consult with uh, the staff neurologist and you the other doctors on staff here to find the best course of action for you. Does that sound like a good plan to you? Yes, okay. All right, fantastic. Uh, so I'm going to go have a chat with some of those other doctors, and then I'll be right back. Don't you worry, you're in very good hands here. Dr. Phillips, Dr. Peterson. What do we have? 29-year-old female presents with kidney stones. I've assessed the size and location of the, uh, of the stone and uh, looking for the best course of action. Didn't know if you had some thoughts. Well, in my practice, I've had great success with bicameral laser metatoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I thought of that, but she's not a great candidate. She has a real history of hypertension in her family, and uh, I'm worried about lack of clotting. Well, I'm oncologist, so I'm my purview, but you, uh, we could consult you know who? Uh, he is on call tonight. No. Yes, he is. He's not. He is. Get him. Okay. Get him. Get him. Get him.